Good afternoon. Just following up from earlier about the discovery of bias in the jury selection process and why that's critical and why it's so important to, to find those facts out before you seat a panel of 12 people to determine your client's fate in a civil matter or a criminal matter, whatever that may be. The reason why it's critical is because, for here's an example. Many of us grew up with Perry Mason or L.A. Law or just any number of crime shows, and we're all enamored with Boston Legal, right? You know, but one thing that, that, that perpetuates in all those shows is that burden of proof, that beyond a reasonable doubt. And if you're in a civil matter, you would want to know whether somebody on that jury is going to hold you to a higher burden of proof than the burden of proof that's required in a civil matter, which is preponderance of the evidence, which means that the jury's job is to determine and weigh the credible evidence and determine by a preponderance standard, not a beyond a reasonable doubt standard, who has the greater weight of evidence and therefore who should prevail. So you want to determine that, you know, and you want to know if there's somebody out there who's going to say on this type of injury or on this type of claim, on this probate or estate matter, I'm going to find in my heart that really to satisfy me, you need to meet a higher burden of proof than you're entitled to under state law. And that's a bias that needs to be uncovered to ensure the justice of the jury system and to ensure the fair and equitable administration of justice for those claimants and parties to the lawsuit.